Welcome to Drummond Limited Facilities. Our company focuses on exploration, extraction, transportation, and coal loading operations. We ensure the protection of our environment, health, and the lives of all our employees, contractors, visitors, and communities. We are committed to work under a regulatory framework that encourages continuous improvement. This is why we are a certified port on the following standards. Occupational Health and Safety Management System, OSHAS 18001. Environmental Management System, ISO 14001. International Ship and Port Security Code, ISPS. Business Alliance for Secure Commerce, BASC. Now, let me guide you through some important safety instructions. In case of emergency, you must follow all instructions given by the area's emergency plan. Please be aware of instructions from your contact, evacuation leaders, and emergency leaders who will guide you to the nearest meeting point. To access Drummond facilities, you must use all your personal protective equipment. They are required in all operational areas. Hard hat. Safety shoes. And safety glasses. As a preventive measure and for you to be visible during the night, you must use reflective clothes or reflective elements. At the port, Traffic must use the right lane. It is mandatory to respect safety driving guidelines, cell phone use, road and pathway signs, speed limits, seat belts, and instructions on railroad crossing. It is strictly prohibited to use drugs, drink alcohol, or access the facility under the influence of any of these substances. Let's begin our tour. I will now show you the safety rules that you must follow in each zone. At the train arrival zone, the train arrives at the port and the coal unloading process begins at the different car dumpers. Be aware to always stop at the railroad crossings and never cross over when the train. Remember that the train always has the right of way. It is strictly forbidden to cross in between the wagons. Please use the elevated pedestrian bridges. At the coal yards, remember that, after unloading the coal with the car dumpers, it may now be piled with the stackers at the different coal yards that are distributed according to the different coal qualities. Also, you can load directly into the ships through a conveyor belt and a direct loading system. During these processes, please remember the following safety rules. One. To access the coal yards, you must request authorization from the area supervisor. Be alert to heavy equipment and maintain your distance from the coal piles. 2. Climb into the equipment only when they are completely stopped and remember to use your three points of contact. 3. Operate vehicles, equipment, hydraulic and pneumatic machinery only if you are trained and authorized to do so and following manufacturing and safety guidelines. At Drummond Limited, our safety programs are based on self-care, hazard identification, and risk assessment. This is why the company has established stringent control measures that must be followed in all high-risk activities such as Entering a confined space. Access to a confined space must be controlled and have an atmospheric test before entering. A work permit must also be completed before entry. For hot works, you must keep cylinders, oxy cutting and welding equipment, as well as its accessories, secure, organized, and in good condition. Have an authorized work permit, a gas-free atmosphere, and a risk-controlled environment. For working at heights, you must follow fall protection and prevention measures. When handling chemicals, ask your supervisor for the corresponding material safety data sheet or MSDS and follow all its instructions. Ask in case you have any doubts. 
Electrical works may be done only if you are trained and authorized to do so. You must always follow the five golden rules. For load lifting, it is necessary to have a lifting plan prior to hoisting any load and always transfer far away from any suspended load. When manually moving load, all preventive measures to avoid back injuries need to be followed. Do not lift loads that exceed your strength capacity and ask for help if you need to do so. For excavation work, remember, a work permit is required as well as the intervention of several departments environmental, electrical maintenance, safety, among others. When you are near the conveyor belt, be aware of the following. If the conveyor belt is turned on, always stay away from the line of fire of the rollers, pulleys, counterweights, and any other moving components. Do not service or perform maintenance to any machine or facility until all electrical, hydraulic, pneumatic, and all other sources of energy have been disabled and properly locked and tagged out according to procedure SIG0058 for controlling hazardous energies. Verify that all equipment have safeguards and protectors properly installed before turning them on and after completing any maintenance work. For your safety, it is essential that you maintain your clothes, hair, and other parts of your body away from the conveyor belt and any other moving equipment. Avoid entrapment. The pull cord installed along the conveyor belt is used to stop the belt in case of emergency. It must keep in good condition and with the tension that would allow it to respond with a quick stop. When being in the tunnels area, remember that access to the tunnels is restricted. Authorization from the control tower and verification of the forced ventilation system is required as well as having readings of the gas sensors that are installed in them. It is mandatory to enter the tunnel with a companion. At the ship loaders, you must follow these instructions. Follow the access control protocol to access the pier. Pedestrians along the pier must walk on the opposite side of the vehicular road. Maintain full alert of vehicles and use the basic personnel protective equipment. Vehicles entering the dock must follow the traffic signs installed along the way. If a person is susceptible to experiencing vertigo or is afraid of heights, he or she should not go up to the ship loader and must communicate this immediately to the person of contact. All areas along the pier with open edges toward the ocean, such as the Cienega and Santa Marta sides, are considered as restrictive zones. Additional to the basic personnel protective equipment, it is mandatory to use life jackets. Keep yourself away from the edges and avoid falling into the ocean. Only authorized personnel may board the ship loader and whoever does must be familiar with the catwalks and unauthorized access areas. Warning signs must be followed. Visitors must be accompanied by an authorized person. Pay special attention to all signs and indications placed on the equipment and in the different facilities of the area. When boarding a vessel, both hands must be free and assistance should be requested if needed. The ship loader can move suddenly. Be aware of your surroundings and make sure you have both hands free at all times. We are strongly committed to our planet. That's why our environmental controls are part of our operational processes and harmony with nature is not only our duty, it's a corporate culture that makes us proud. Our progress goes hand in hand with the welfare of the communities we impact. We are good neighbors because it is the best way to express the great social responsibility of our company. You are now part of our commitment. We invite you to have a great sense of belonging, work with devotion and self-care in a quest to achieve your welfare and the whole team that welcomes you today. Remember that in Drummond, Safety is our lifestyle that guides everything we do by protecting those around us, our environment, our resources, and ourselves.
Bienvenidos a Puerto Drummond. Esperamos que el video que acaban de ver haya sido de su agrado. Buscamos que su visita a nuestras instalaciones sea lo más segura, exitosa y placentera posible. Los invitamos a cuidarse, a que nos ayuden a cuidar nuestros empleados y operación y a que nos ayuden a construir una operación sostenible y amigable con el medio ambiente.